my next area to attack is the roof rack. As I mentioned before, the wood roof rack is coming out because I've made it so it's bang on, like basically just touching the steel roof on top. Um, so there's no space underneath for me to install an extractor fan for the shower, which I have bought in now. So the wood roof rack is coming off, off and I'm putting back on the ulti bar uh, roof rack I had before, the aluminium extrusion ones. I've got two bars with me so I can mount the solar panels straight back onto the roof. The third one will come later and then what I plan to do is get the extractor fan mounted up there today and yeah then I should be I should have like good ventilation in there which is key key in a shower um, and also then a, a future day I can look at reboarding up the roof rack because I really do like the advantages that having um, like almost like a cover up there brings in regards to stopping very loud rain noise at night Currently, just taping up the uh, the high points on the roof here with some masking tape. The reason for this is that this means that the base plate on my jigsaw won't scratch the paint, leaving areas vulnerable to rust. Now, I managed to sort of take a few measurements from the inside, apply those to the roof. Um, and work out roughly where my shower was. I ended up drilling a hole thinking it was just within the edge of the shower. Turned out it wasn't. So I've ended up drilling a hole right into the partition wall bit of the, the shower wall, which isn't gonna work, which means that hole is completely in the wrong place. So I'll be looking at ways to cover up that hole, fill it in so that obviously there isn't water ingress and also it doesn't rust on the edges and it looks half decent so it doesn't look like super bodged but i've now managed to find my true drilling point thanks to that drill holes sort of reference point um, and uh, yeah we're about to crack on cut out a small hole for this micro extractor fan here and the uh, job should be a good one Extractor fan is now mounted down to the roof. As you can see, I've made a very nice tape job because I didn't quite realize, I used some Seek Flex, um, but I didn't quite realize how long it take to dry. So I've had to tape that down and that's going to have to stay as it is for a little while. Extractor fan is now mounted, which is fantastic. My next job is to get the ulti bars back up here, remount them, remount the solar panels and uh, then that will be the sort of roof area done, really.
solo's up there now, so I just need to work out the best way to properly mount it to the LT bars again. And uh, yeah, also, we're on the old YouTube merch. If you'd like some of your own merch, check out the link in the description to my shop um, where you can buy these top quality t-shirts. Also guys, I received some very nice news the other day. I got featured on a website called officertravels.com and I'll put a link in the description below so you can go check them out. They also have an Instagram page and yeah, they featured me on their website as being one of their top um, inspirational van lifers, which is really sort of like really nice, really, I, I, I was actually quite surprised to even hear that someone would feature me on the website like that. Um, so if you could go check them out and give them some love, that'd be really, really appreciated. They've got some epic photos of Australia on their Instagram page. So yeah, please check them out. The next plan is to help mount these to the ulti bars, um, I want to make this, the, these two solar panels basically one solid piece. So I've gone out and I've got these brackets that will go in between each one, one on each end in the center here. And I'll screw these together with as many screws as I can without damaging obviously the solar panel on the, roof, the top bit here. And um, hopefully that will become one unit, which means that because I've only got four of the little inserts that go inside the extrusion part here and then hopefully I'll be able to bolt them down from each corner once it's one piece. And I was wondering how I would mount this to the ulti rack. In the ulti bar rack, they've got these extrusions with these little runners, and they can move up and down the extrusion, and you can bolt to them with these bolts. So I thought, what would be the quick, like the best, strongest sort of setup I could do here? So I found some of my L brackets I had lying around. They were originally, like each, each side was the same length, so I trimmed this down here, just above this centre hole, and I widened this hole to take the bolt. And now, they're going to get up against the side wall like that and screw in so that the solar panels are fully mounted. So gave them a really good clean and uh, even though it didn't look dirty there's a hell of a lot of filth on them so make sure you keep cleaning your uh, solar panels so we've managed to get all of the shower panels cut uh, we've boarded out the shower we've cut the hole for the extractor fan mounted the extractor fan removed the wood roof rack mounted the solar panels again um, and got the underneath water waste tank ready uh, to be fitted. I'm going to look at a different way. They gave, they, they, they provided these like mild steel brackets with a sort of bracketing system. I, I, it just doesn't, for me, it doesn't really work. It's not a very good system. Uh, also, it gives you like mild steel unprotected. So they're just going to rust anyway. And I don't really, uh, you know, I'd rather have something a bit more like longer lasting. Um, 
I know steel takes a long time to rust through, but personally, I'd rather just have something that I can put up there and forget about. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we managed to get a lot done. So that I'm going to cut the video here, but next week should be pretty exciting. We should be, I should hopefully, hopefully, I don't know why it's taking so long, have this shower tray, which means I can really get going. Uh, I can then adhesive in the walls, um, mount through anything else that I need to do, and uh, really just get this get this shower properly in there, which would be really exciting, and actually give it a little, little test shower. Ooh, ooh, with some hot water. Ooh, so luxury. And if you have a cheeky few minutes, please remember to go check out Officer Travels, uh, check out their Instagram, check out their website, and also check out my website if you're willing to go over there and just have a look. You don't even have to buy it, just have a look at the merch and appreciate the, the love that I've put into these designs. Um, and maybe, oh, who knows, you might just think, oh, I'm gonna get me some of those, some of them sweet teas. So uh, yeah, please check out those guys, support uh, Officer Travels, and um, I'll catch all of you DIY nomads next week.